your coins certified by PCGS, the grading standard for 25 years. What is it that's so fascinating about error coins? For one thing, they're different. Fred Weinberg, respected error coin specialist and dealer from Encino, California, has always liked unusual things. He has also been a serious coin collector since his youth. So naturally, he gravitated toward error coins, and he's now one of the foremost experts on the subject. Fred is also a successful dealer with tens of thousands of error coins in his inventory. In addition to authenticating many major mint errors for PCGS, Fred has lent his well-known numismatic expertise to numerous government agencies. He has also been featured on several TV programs, presenting his favorite subject, Unusual Error Coins. He is the co-author of the Error Coin Encyclopedia and has contributed his expertise and penchant for research to numerous other publications. And as you will see on this video, he recently introduced a book co-authored with Nicholas Brown and David Kemmeyer called The 100 Greatest U.S. Error Coins. While you're in Chicago at the ANA, be sure to stop by Fred's table to discuss the new book and most importantly, error coins. He'll be happy to check to see if your unusual coin is an authentic mint error or a die variety or damaged coin. For more information, a look at Fred's inventory, or to order the book, visit his website, www.fredweinberg.com. And now, here's Fred. I'm Fred Weinberg, coin dealer from Encino, California. I've been doing mint error coins for probably 50 years of my life. I've been a full-time dealer for 40 years and an a and member for close to the 50 years. And we're looking forward to going to Chicago this year because Chicago is a great coin town. It draws from the Midwest, and of course the ANA always draws from all over the world. So Chicago is a good central location, and uh, I'm hoping to find some good air collect uh, collections that will show up at the show that I'm able to buy, and I know that there'll be a lot of good uh, air collectors that will come to the show looking to buy some of, some of my uh, air coins. I happen to have here an 1873 CC half dollar that's a multi-struck and brockage coin. It's a two-piece coin. It was struck together with another coin. The other coin has been sitting in the Carson City Mint since 1873. It was just discovered a few years ago. This coin separated from it probably in the late 1870s and came on the market 10 years ago. Um, we did have the coins together when PCGS um, graded both coins, this piece and this coin for the Carson City Mint, um, and it's now in the Carson City Mint Museum. This coin will be on display at the ANA in Chicago this summer. At last year's ANA in Boston, a labor of love uh, finally came out. Um, the top 100 greatest U.S. error coins. Uh, Dave Kammeyer, Nick Brown, and myself uh, worked for two years to write this book. It's different than Whitman's other 100 greatest books because regular coins, there may be the coin that's number one, two, or three, there may be two or three or four or five of them. All of these coins are unique and one of a kind. Um, it's been a big hit on the market. People love looking at the photographs of 100 of the greatest errors. Plus, we have a wonderful appendix that explains the minting process, how to detect counterfeit errors, counterfeit coins. And um, the feedback that we've received from the book has been wonderful because we consider it to be a very educational book. Um, I think it's very important now with a lot of the, the problems that we have uh, with possible counterfeit coins, to know the minting process, because if you know how a coin is minted at the U.S. Mint, you'll know how to tell if one was never minted at the U.S. Mint. When I was probably 9, 10, 11 years old, I was always interested in unusual things, and uh, that would include parapsychology, ESP, flying saucers, strange things for the, for the late 1950s, early 1960s. I had always been a coin collector, but I loved watching and looking for my new issue of Coin World because Jim Johnson wrote a page called Collector's Clearinghouse where he would 
illustrate error coins and I just found them absolutely fascinating because they were different. I've always liked things that were different. So um, that motivated me to start to collect error coins, look for error coins in my change. And uh, I've been doing it probably since the very early 1960s and it's been thrilling to watch how the market has expanded for error coins. Um, one of the biggest uh, benefits to our segment of the hobby has been PCGS grading and authenticating error coins, which lends a, a level of confidence to people that want to collect the errors, but they're not quite sure if they're real or not. When you come to Chicago, I'll have a table. I'll be there for both the pre-ANA show, the PNG Day show, and the whole week of the ANA. I'm very happy to look at your coins and tell you if your errors are authentic mint error coins or just the coins that have been damaged in circulation or by some other method. A lot of people find unusual coins in circulation and because they look different they automatically assume they're errors. Sometimes they are, sometimes they're not. I provide a free service. I'm happy to authenticate and to tell you how your error coin was made or how, how it occurred if it was not a mint error, if it happened after it got into circulation. But come to Chicago, you're going to see some wonderful rare coins, some expensive coins, and of course there'll be exhibits for error coins, normal coins, and so much information that uh, you won't have enough time to see everything you'd like to see.